For the first time ever, the EPA is limiting forever chemicals in drinking water. These man-made chemicals, also known as PFAS, have been around since the 1940s. They're used for everything from nonstick pans and makeup to firefighting foam, semiconductors, and even astroturf. They also pose health risks. Some of these chemicals are linked to cancer, liver damage, cardiovascular problems, and immune and developmental damage in infants. There are thousands of PFAS compounds. Nearly every American has a measurable amount of forever chemicals in their blood. The EPA says it will target six specific PFAS. One known carcinogen and a likely carcinogen will be limited to four parts per trillion. Other targeted compounds will be reduced to 10 parts per trillion. Though the standards target just six forever chemicals out of thousands, the agency says many more will be eliminated indirectly in the process. The new rules apply to 66,000 public water systems across the U.S. They have until 2029 to get them fully implemented. The agency estimates regulations will improve the drinking water for 100 million Americans. The cost for water utilities will be around $1.5 billion per year. The move received pushback from the water industry, claiming the industry bears the brunt of the cost of forever chemicals in water, despite not having created the problem. But the EPA says the health benefits will exceed the cost by reducing rates of cancer, strokes, and heart attacks. The Biden administration is providing $9 billion through the Bipartisan Infrastructure Package for implementation.